GM, and welcome. In recent years, relays have become one of the most important tools in Ethereum. In this video, we'll be covering how relays work, why they've exploded in popularity, and what the future looks like for MEV relays. MEV, or Maximal Extractable Value, refers to the ETH that can be earned by the reordering, insertion, or censorship of transactions within a block being created. Centralization in MEV is a bigger deal than most people think. Centralized relays in the US must follow jurisdictional laws, which means censorship of transactions in Ethereum. Currently, 47% of all blocks and 55% of relay blocks are OFAC compliant. Ethereum was meant to be neutral to jurisdictions, but when most blocks are passing through centralized relays that censor transactions, we're faced with an issue. We can compare actors in MEV to buying a sandwich from Katz's Deli in New York City. Imagine you accessed insider information through Yelp and found out the pastrami sandwich is the best before trying it. In the same way, a searcher accessing transaction data in the mempool will use it to predict the future state of the blockchain and capitalize on that knowledge to create a profitable situation. The employee who gives you the sandwich can be compared to a validator that uses their validator key to sign and propose blocks to the blockchain. The sandwich shop is a trusted intermediary between the customer and the employee ensuring food safety, just as relays connect block builders and validators in a trusted manner. Searchers are actors in MEV that search mempools to create a series of transactions that will be profitable if inserted into Ethereum. They send these transactions to block builders who create a complete block of transactions. The last transaction is a tip for the validator to incentivize a validator submission of that block into Ethereum. Validators are digital entities staked on Ethereum that validate transactions, earn staking rewards, and propose blocks to the blockchain. A relay can be thought of as a middleman between block builders and validators to ensure that they don't cheat one another. Relays create a marketplace for validators to outsource block building and sell block space to the highest bidder. The block bundle with the highest tip to the validator gets chosen. Let's walk through how the block proposal process looks when using a relay to understand how it ensures these guarantees. First, block builders send their block bundles to the relay, then the relay chooses the highest tipping block and ensures that the validator gets that tip. Relays connect the block bundle with the validator that has chosen to propose a block and they provide the validator with just the block header to conceal the block's content. This is done so the validator doesn't try to recreate the block themselves and steal the MEV. The validator key is used to sign off on the block so the block can be proposed. The signed block header is sent back to the relay. The relay then releases the full block to the validator after it's signed. The signed block is then proposed to the Ethereum blockchain. This is what a block proposal process looks like with relays involved. Let's compare this to the block proposal process without a relay. This is what the block proposal process looks like without a relay involved. There's a good reason that validators go through the trouble of working with relays though. With or without relays, validators are earning staking rewards. But with relays, validators can earn tips from block bundles and with the proof of neutrality relay, will collect recurring MEV payouts every seven days. The proof of neutrality relay, also known as the PON relay, is a decentralized protocol built as a solution to the issue with centralized relays. Per its name, it is neutral to jurisdictional restrictions. The PON relay was built to follow proposer block builder separation, which is a mechanism that Vitalik Buterin theorized as a solution to the threats of MEV and centralized relays. Unlike other relays, the PON relay also gives consistent MEV payouts to solo staking validators. Usually, it costs 32 ETH to be a validator, we've made it possible to do this with just 4 ETH. See how to do this in the links below. The PON relay will bring back neutrality to Ethereum. Here we can see the differences in the blocks that are proposed into the blockchain. The PON relay uses zero knowledge proofs and encryption to ensure privacy and security. Relays play a critical role in the functioning of the Ethereum blockchain, and we only expect relays to become more popular. The proof of neutrality relay is a promising solution to centralized relays and is an innovation worth knowing about. If you want to learn more about the PON relay or MEV in general, check out the links below. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video was helpful in understanding the role of relays in Ethereum and MEV.